Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to do a freezer paper t-shirt transfer. Uh, this is really handy and great anytime you want to make like one or two t-shirts um, or t-shirts with all different designs. I have a silk screen, but I'm not going to drag that out for just one shirt. Um, so this is freezer paper. You can find it at any grocery store, any department store. And what it is, is a plastic coated white paper. And actually this is good for using to, for making uh, disposable pallets out of or just protecting your work surface if your kids are painting too. So it's really a handy supply to have on hand. Look, it even says use for arts and crafts. There you go. We got we got permission from Reynolds to use this for our arts and crafts. So what you're going to do is you can use um, any sort of knife that you have. I use my die cutting machine and I just cut out a stencil because my daughter has a bunch of t-shirts that she wanted to make for some friends. And um, so this is one of the one of the shirts that I had to make. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a tutorial. And you just want to gently cut it because the paper is, um, it is, it's a little thin. It's not as thin as like wax paper, but it's kind of, um, it's kind of delicate. Now <laughs> this t-shirt's going to say clumsy. It's for my daughter. She asked to make this with, this is her, what she wanted on it. So, uh, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not calling her clumsy. She's calling herself clumsy. Um, and if you have any letters that have like an O or an A or something where you'd have like a middle, you just want to make sure you save the middle piece. Now, if you look at the freezer paper, you're going to see that one side is matte and one side is shiny. I don't know if you can see that shiny or not, but the shiny part is what is going to fuse with your fabric. And you can use any fabric, but I've got some white t-shirts here that I'm going to use. And uh, this is a one-time use only stencil. So if you wanted, say, two shirts that said clumsy, you'd need two stencils because they're only going to last um, one application. So I like to actually iron the area that my uh, decal is going to go, my my stencil rather, and that's just going to warm up the fabric and it's going to help grab that stencil. And I'm just using uh, men's t-shirts here, men's medium t-shirts. And I'm just going to set that, kind of center it up, put it where I want. And I am using medium high heat. Just use the iron setting for the fabric that you're using so you don't scorch it, but it's going to fuse pretty quickly. Now it's going to give you a light tack, so you will be able to remove this pretty easily. Now look at that. Look how easy that was. Okay, so now that is fused and we can put a piece of cardboard into our shirt to make it stiff so that we can paint it. You can use any old cardboard for this. I actually keep a couple pieces that are t-shirt size in my studio for when my kids want to make t-shirts because um, it's surprising how, how frequently they like to do that. And I figured, hey, might as well just do this tutorial while I've got a t-shirt to do. All right, and now we'll go over to my desk and we'll paint this. I have some fabric, uh, actually this is fabric screen printing ink, but you can use any uh, fabric paint for this. And what I recommend you do is get a brush that's, um, you can get a stencil brush or just one that's got a fairly blunt end. And what you're going to want to do is kind of pounce your paint on either the lid or a scrap of paper or something just to make sure you don't have any big gobs. And then you are just going to pounce up and down over your stencil. And just do that until you have filled in your entire stencil. And then you're going to let this dry. Okay, our t-shirt is pretty well dry. Um, I would leave it overnight, let it dry for sure, but I just wanted to make sure that I got a chance to finish this up before my uh, daughter needed her shirt. But all you gotta do is peel up the stencil. And the reason you want it dry mostly is because you don't want to like accidentally drop the stencil on your fabric and have it smudge. But look at the crisp, beautiful, um, beautiful results you get. Uh, I just, I wish my, my, <laughs> I wish my girls wanted more positive things on their t-shirts, but they've got, they've got a very twisted sense of humor. Um, so, but look at that. You get a beautiful crisp, uh, design. It looks like it's been screen printed. It looks very professional. It's not going to pick off or crack because you just have a thin layer of fabric paint there. Um, and it's so easy to do and you don't need any special tools. You can cut this with scissors or an X-Acto knife, um, or with your die cutting machine. If you have one, like, um, my Cricut machine did great with this. Um, anything like that is going to be fine. It's definitely something you can do at home. You could even like cut shapes like hearts and stars, iron them down and have your kids spray fabric paint on it. It would be a really cute idea. So um, all you need is freezer paper. It's super easy and I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, happy crafting!